Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to an all-new reaction and review. Tonight, I'm going to be taking a look at a film from the land down under. Yes, folks, I found a movie from Australia. It actually is a sort of recent film. It came out last year. The title... Oh, man, I hate this freaking title. The title is Tomorrow When the War Began. I want you guys to look at that title for just a sec. Just look at it. Am I the only person who looks at this title and just sees a complete and total grammatical night, like nightmare? I haven't even started the movie, and I already have something to bitch about. For those of you who, who don't see it, those of you who, you know, like grammar is not really your thing, I'm going to walk you through this. Tomorrow means it hasn't happened yet. Tomorrow is a word meaning something's going to happen in the future. In other words, 24 hours from now. Tomorrow. Yeah. However, tomorrow when the war began. Began means it's already started. So let me walk you through the let me walk you through the labyrinthian bullshit maze that this title is trying to make up here for us. The war hasn't okay. The war has started, but it's not gonna start until tomorrow. My head hurts. It really Fucking does, and I have this feeling that at no time in the film are they going to actually explain that frickin' title. I just know it. So, I'm just going to pretend that this film has a different title. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to try to make sense out of the film itself. So, folks, without further ado, it's time to kick back, relax, and enjoy uh, tomorrow when the war began. Okay, um, right now we are right now we are being introduced to all of the primary characters, and uh, so far every single one of them have either been a douchebag, a prick, or a jackass. This film is not shaping up to be very good. Well, folks, the good news is. No, actually, no, no, correct. Bad news is, we had vomit. Good news is, I didn't have to see it. Alright, we are getting closer and closer to the 20 minute mark. And I want to know, when does something happen here? The only thing that is even, the, the only thing of any real interest that has happened was a bunch of fighter planes were flying, were flying overhead one night. That was like a 30 second scene. Whoopee. When the hell is something interesting going to happen? Alright. I think that there should have been someone to edit this film down a, a little bit. Because, uh, I'm a person who kind of notices patterns. If there was nobody around at anyone else's homes, I have a wild assumption that there's not going to be anybody there when they check this place either. So why don't we skip past all of this and actually get somewhere where, where the plot will actually get moving a little bit. Alright. It took them a half an hour to finally tell us exactly what the hell the plot is to this stupid movie. Apparently, the Chinese have invaded Australia. I'm going to assume that, you know, this is the Chinese. It happens to look like the Chinese army. I could easily be, be wrong there. So, our seven, so our, so our gang of seven jagoffs, dickheads, and other, and other such unlikable pinheads are going to try to stop them and save the day. You know, I would be almost tempted to stop right now, because this is going to suck. But, I might as well see if this is going to improve at all. So, apparently the country is crawling with soldiers, and she's going to, she's going to sit outside, practically in the open, and reminisce about the past. Sure, I guess that makes sense somewhere. Okay, 
So, the one person who said, we have to think like soldiers, we have to stay hidden, is the one who shoots out the searchlight on the helicopter and gives away their entire position. If this film had any less logic, it would probably be legally retarded. They were looking for something that was indestructible and that could not be stopped and they found a garbage truck. When the hell were garbage trucks indestructible? And if they are, why the hell are we using tanks instead of garbage trucks in our everyday military use? Alright. We just finished a chase scene, and uh, apparently the writers to this movie actually do think that a garbage truck is completely is completely unstoppable against gunfire. <sighs> God, I really hope this movie's done soon. Oh boy, guys, we now get to hear exactly how, exactly how Australia was frickin' overthrown by a stone. Fun times, guys. Fun times. Alright, I have a feeling that this scene is supposed to be tense, but the acting is so bad that it just sort of sucks all of the tension just right out of this scene. Seriously, guys, this... Wow. Okay. I can now say that the country which... Actually, it wasn't a country that, that, in, that invaded Australia. It was a coalition of countries. You heard me. Multiple countries ganged up to invade Australia. I'm sorry, that just does not sound believable at all. I don't know why anybody would ever want to invade Australia. Australia seems rather peaceful. Yeah. At least, you know, that's how I see it. Alright, folks. Apparently, not only are garbage trucks immune to bullets, but so are fuel tankers. You learn something new every day. Okay, that actually was kind of cool. The sweet, innocent Bible, you know, you know, like Bible thumper just had to go and kill four freaking soldiers. That actually was a kind of a cool scene. Oh, thank you, God. It's finally over. Shutting that off. Oh boy, folks. <laughs> Let's discuss the movie, shall we? First of all, I want to say right now, before I do anything else, I want to cover the characters. Because uh, this movie had essentially a cast of cliches. I'm going to run... I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run you through them, just because I want you guys to know exactly how much depth was put into all these characters. We have the main character, and we have the main character's best friend. The only thing I can tell you about them is that these are the only two people who have any kind of actual logic. They are the only people who you are who you really are going to care about because they have just a hair of you know depth to them. Everybody else is the jock, the rich bitch, the stoner, the Bible thumper the bad boy, and the token minority who in this film is Asian. Yeah. That's it. You know, that is, like, that is all of his depth is he's Asian and the main character is in love with him. In fact, there's actually a whole lot of this, you know, he loves her and she loves him and yada, 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 and all this other stupid bullshit. But it really doesn't mean anything because you don't care about these characters. Everybody has the depth of a shot glass and... You really just do not care what happens to any of these people. Now, you guys heard me talking talking about, you know, the, you know, film's ridiculously stupid, stupidly low level of logic. Uh, I really don't know who to properly blame, blame for that. 
I don't know if I should blame the screenwriters or if I should blame the author of the book that this thing was based on. Because I don't know how loyal it is to the book. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> Acting. Oh, dear sweet Jesus, acting. Acting was probably some of the most schizophrenic acting I've ever seen in a movie. Uh, because, you know, it, because it actually was not a matter of, you know, this actor is doing a halfway decent job and this actor sucks. No. No. Far from it. Instead, it's in this scene. Everybody actually is, you know, doing a sort, of, doing a somewhat like passable, like passable job. And in the very next scene, half of them seem to have lost the will to act, or have you know, taken a blunt shot to the head and just can't act anymore. Um, so not only, so not only is the quality of, of of the acting like flitting around between, you know, passable and shit. Uh, also, exactly how people act is also bouncing all over the place. And once again, this actually could be you know a bunch of actors who are you know playing it as monotone as possible, as if eh, no, it pretty much is like as if they were just given the script and they don't know what their fucking motivation is. They're just uh, ah, you were shot, you know, like that. And then the very next scene, everybody is like everybody is you know hamming it up as if well as I really don't even know where the fuck to go with that. My head hurts way too much for having to suffer through this fucking thing. So yeah, the acting is all over the place, and it's probably the weirdest sort of bad acting I have ever seen. I have, I have, I, I have already covered that. The weirdest thing, guys, actually I'm looking at this. This fucking thing has won awards. This movie won the 2010 Inside Film, Inside Film Award for Best Feature Film, Best Script, Best Music, and Best Actress. So I'm going to assume that uh, there were no other nominees during, for the 2010 Inside Film Film Awards if this thing won for Best Feature Film. I, I mean, this thing was just absolute garbage. And this thing is based on a book series. This is supposedly based on the first book in a seven-book series. And this thing apparently was a hit. That means that they're going to make sequels. They're going to make sequels to this thing. With, with acting that is that hideous and, you know, with special effects that are just that shitty, they want to make sequels. I can feel it. I can tell. They want to make sequels. They, and they probably are. Before anyone asks, no. I am not doing any sequels to this film. I have suffered plenty, thank you very much. And I, frankly, am just going to walk away from this and pretend I never watched it. Uh, if you really want a short, short version of what I thought of this film, had a really shitty title, and is a really shitty movie overall. And with that, we come to the close of another reaction and, and review. Uh, Hopefully I'll have another, I'll hopefully be able to find something a little bit more tolerable next time around. I actually have a couple of options I'm looking at. Uh, I might be doing something off of the Amazon wish list, or there's actually a movie I found on fucking YouTube, and I'm talking, it was put up by the director of the film. He actually put his, his own movie up, up on YouTube. I'm almost tempted to go and watch it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so guys, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the near future. Peace.